A very good evening to all of you. Now today's discussion would be based on the takeaways from the recent 2023 examination. The 2023 examinations we have discussed in detail the UPSC paper both for GS paper 1 as well as CSET paper 2. Our idea of this session would be to understand how we can best perform uh, by understanding the details of uh, understanding whether we are going in the right direction or not so make sure each of you uh, take the following points into account first let's discuss about gs paper one so gs paper one as we had seen uh, most of the questions pertain to the section that was from the topics pertaining to uh, ncrt this time However, there was a huge difference between the paper last year and this time. How, uh, why do I cite so? The, one of the major reasons is last year, there was a major focus on questions related to science and technology, questions pertaining to different systems and specific developments. However, this time, the questions were relatively direct. Even from the sections on history, uh, most of the questions that were asked were pertaining to the direct and the basic understanding of the students. So that was one of the things that you must take into account. Lakshman and others, if you have any question, you can post those as we proceed while we uh, move forward. So NCRTs need to be covered in detail, one of the major takeaways. The second major thing is down to earth again was very important this time. Numerous questions directly asked from down to earth. So if you have been covering down to earth, you will be able to answer a lot of questions. Coming to the section on CSET paper 2. Now CSET paper 2 compared to last year, that's 2022, we found that in 2023, the paper was relatively easy. Why? Because the reading comprehension passages were not that big as the 2022. So it was relatively time saver. And even the questions related to basic statistics, the basic uh, divisibility concepts which were asked in 2022 were relatively difficult. Uh, one or two questions were of the Olympiad level as well. However, this time that was not the case. So two important things that you must uh, keep into account. Uh, now, uh, another thing is understand what are the important things that you must take into consideration while you are focusing on to questions related to 2024. So when you are preparing for 2024, few important takeaways. One. Art and culture need to be covered from NCRT 11th and 12th. Cover those topics carefully. The second important thing that you need to understand is NCRTs for economics are really good. If you are covering those NCRTs carefully for economics, you are well set. Now, some of the students have a query between old NCRTs and new NCRTs. I would definitely recommend old NCRTs. So all our video lectures that we have created are based on old NCRTs. So if you are following old NCRTs, they are more comprehensive and more detailed. So definitely you would get an added advantage there. The next is the list of references that you must follow for 2024. The list of references technically includes uh, PIB, Investopedia, Vikaspedia, three, four questions we could cite this time from Vikaspedia. So Vikaspedia is an important source that you must cover. Yojana and Kurukshetra important for policy. Basic questions directly asked from that section uh, would be covered through Yojana and Kurukshetra and then down to earth as I always say is extremely important for your environment for your uh, science and technology basics. Now um, Lakshman has a question regarding the criteria for current affairs. Regarding the criteria for current affairs it's extremely important to understand that um, this time let's say there were questions related to Ukraine 
as we had discussed in our expected questions but the questions were relatively direct for example which are the cities from ukraine what are the bordering states um, the major uh, production centers so those are the kind of key things that you must remember so anything that you uh, find in news okay you need to understand the details regarding it i give you a very simple example recently today we had this railway accident now railways types of railways one day bharat bullet train the differences between the two the major locomotives the the chitranjan locomotive the perambur uh, coach factory so what are the key aspects among those why are they important and what are what are the uh, developments in the railway segments that have been done all these things become important so when you are going through gs understand that anything that comes in news it's not just that thing itself but all supporting dimensions to it become extremely important for your upsc point of view now those are some of the topics that we have uh, discussed coming on to cset now cset 2024 what you need to take into account definitely um, one year is not a right pace to cover the prelims cz paper 2 first of all cz paper 2 is qualifying so two or three months of rigorous preparation is more than enough those for those who are not good at maths for those who have a good aptitude and mathematical insight can cover that in a lesser time as well now for those who need a start for the cz uh, what should you cover and the silly mistakes you should avoid like uh, when you are solving at a very fast pace obviously there are um, random errors that you commit sometimes you forget to read not sometimes you forget to read the digits as integers uh, or digits what is asked so be careful read the question carefully and definitely time could be short for your gs paper too that was well seen this time and it's really important that you maintain a good speed a lot of questions were asked from permutation combination so permutation combination probability a very important topic for you to cover for your 2024 as well for CSET paper 2 so make sure you are covering those topics carefully there is a question about interdisciplinary approach for preparing in GS right so uh, as I said for uh, the recent example of Ukraine uh, now Ukraine if again let's say in news what could be the possible interdisciplinary approach if we talk like that let's understand that now ukraine the geographical reasons the major production centers within ukraine for agriculture for industry for minerals uh, then talking about the physiography the major landforms the major rivers going through it then the nearby areas the surrounding nations coming on to political science related to ukraine the nato nations uh, the importance of nato nations then uh, the reasons for the real dispute between ukraine and russia so international relations come comes into play then talking about the defense systems what were the defense systems which were deployed by russia and by ukraine the defense help that ukraine is getting from america and other nations so that becomes an interdisciplinary approach for defense coming on to the next uh, fertilizer a very important segment for ukraine economy so when we talk about fertilizer what are the major fertilizers that ukraine is exporting the major agricultural base of ukraine so all these questions are extremely important to understand and follow so when we focus on any any issue we need to understand the varied dimensions and anything that you have in news daily you won't have a new topic right so it would be let's say every two to three days you get an important topic now once you get an important topic in gs rather than going through the gs given by various institutions what i would recommend is you go independently and look for all important aspects of that topic go through the editorials uh, independently don't go through the the video summaries for the editorials because when you are reading the editorial you are developing an insight you are also developing your writing skills which would be extremely useful for your mains now even for your mains uh, we have started the answer writing sessions so uh, those are available on doorstep tutor itself so interested candidates can connect there as well 
these were some of the important things that we had discussed for today now if you have any questions or any doubts feel free to connect back to us we'll be more than happy to help you up with those and definitely um, those who have been feeling that i have been constantly saying that the paper was relatively easy and have been annoyed by this uh, probably that was uh, one of the things that i have found uh, regarding the fact that uh, I'm comparing this paper to 2022 and this was relatively direct and the questions were um, relatively simpler, right? So that is some of the important things. Even for the science section, if most of the questions could be answered by the basics of class 9, 10 science, if you have covered that carefully. However, last year, uh, the depth of the science was high. So uh, the technology section, the recent developments in science and tech were relatively more in-depth and they were asked in more detail so those were some of the quick points that we have discussed today if you have any questions or queries you can connect back to us drop a email or request a call back i'll be more than happy to have you uh, have a conversation back wish you very good luck and have a wonderful evening